name is Adasha Tridhipta Mahati and I am from class 50, row number 3. And today I am going to talk about solar power irrigation which is my project for Nirman exhibition. Solar energy is one of the easiest way for farmers to, uh, for farmers to keep energy. So, indeed farmers have several huge buildings whose roofs are directly under the sun. Therefore, the use of solar energy in agriculture is getting increasingly popular. And the energy produced by this renewable source is can be used either in farm or in the local power grid and providing the farmers an additional income. The, the place in the agriculture which gets the most benefit from solar energy is the irrigation. When the sun shines, it feeds the irrigation. So, the pump, the pump through which the water, uh, through which the water is converted, are equipped with solar cells. The solar energy, the solar energy absorbs the ener absorbs the energy from the solar cells and then converts it into electrical energy through a generator, which also feeds the electric motor driving the pump. And the use of solar energy is very efficient. So, the use of solar energy, now I am going to explain to you. Solar energy is one of the most reliable and affordable energy. It uh, potentially, it potentially reduces the call, energy costs of irrigation. So, in rural areas where the, uh, where the diesel fuel is expensive, or where reliable access of electricity grid is lacking, there it can produce there it can produce reliable and flexible and even uh, climate friendly alternative energy source. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Arya and today I am going to tell all of you about mine and one project, the solar irrigation system. Friends, did you all know what is a solar irrigation system? Well, I tell all of you. Solar irrigation system is the answer to areas with no access to water. From its tilt alone, it's an automatic irrigation system running on solar energy using photovoltaic or solar cells that converts sunlight into electricity using photovoltaic. Let's move to the solar panel. Now what is a solar panel? Solar panel are those devices which are used to absorb the heat or the electricity and convert to them. These grid like pattern on the surface are on the surface of the panels. These are the grid like patterns. And the, when the sun rays fall on the solar panel, the solar panel converts it into heat or electricity. The same electricity or heat helps the motor of the pump start working and the pump transfers the water to the overhead tank. The overhead tank immediately transfers it to the all other containers. While this is going on, the leftover water is watered to the plants. In this pump, when there is some leakage or some leftover water is there, it is transferred to this column known as ground water. This is the ground level. In this whole system, the main thing we see here is the solar panel. If the solar panel would not transfer the heat or electricity to the other, then how will the solar system work? This is how the solar system works. Thank you. Good afternoon, My name is Richard I am class 50. My project name is Waste Management. Waste Management is a very important matter in today's society. Due to the rapid and continuous population, the amount of waste generated by the people is increasing day by day. The increased waste item affects the more people. Waste management means disposing the waste in different types like biodegradable waste and non biodegradable waste. Biodegradable waste. Waste items that can be 
composed by the bite, by, by the microorganism for a period of a long period of time is known as biodegrading. For example, it's in waste. Non-biodegrading waste. Waste item that can be decomposed by the microorganism that cannot be decomposed by the microorganism for a period of long time is known as non-biodegradable waste. For example, plastic, tins, and medicine wrappers. Now we should learn also we should also learn about the three R's: reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce the use of plastic. Plastic stays in the environment for a long period of time. We should do, we should avoid the use of the use of plastic bags. Instead of that, we should use cloth bag. We should avoid the use of plastic spoons. Instead of it, we can use wooden spoons and steel spoons. We should use steel utensils and glass utensils for storing items. Reuse. Reuse items instead of throwing them away. Glass jars and bottles can be used to grow it, use for growing plants. It can be also used to close the means keep the groceries. Recycle. Recycle plastic materials and glass jars. We, we can also give recyclable materials to kabari walas and they can give to the recyclable management and make new things. So friends, waste management is a very important part of our life. Today's life. So we should always make a proper way that thank you. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Kashi Riyawat and I am from class 50. So today I do my Nirvana project that is drip irrigation. So what is drip irrigation? Drip irrigation is the most efficient water and nutrient delivery system for growing crops. It delivers water and nutrients directly to the plant's root zone in the right amount at the right time. So each plant gets exactly what it needs when it needs it to grow optimally. With drip irrigation, farmers can produce higher yields while saving on water as well as fertilizers and energy. Why farmers prefer drip irrigation? Because high because higher quality yields, huge water save energy saving, 100% land utilization, efficient use of water in crop protection, less dependency on water, and lower risk. How does it work? Water is collected from water sources like wells, lakes and ponds to a huge tank which has a pipe called a dripper line. The dripper line has smaller holes known as drippers which allow water to flow into the roots of the plant in the whole field uniformly. So let's have a demo to for better understanding. So this is how a drip irrigation system looks like. The water from the tanks flows from the dripper line and the drippers allow the water to flow slowly to the root zone of the plant. So each plant gets amount of water that it needs and at the right time. Thank you. Everybody, welcome to our Nirman exhibition for this year. I would like to thank all the teachers for giving us this opportunity to participate in the exhibition. This is my prepared model for this year and our chosen topic is satellite communications. The base of my project is made out of a box covered with black paper. 
The earth is made out of a vessel covered with grey paper of three colours. The small planets are made with painted balls. The small posters are made by writing on origami papers. And the most important, the satellite is made with cardboard. The antenna is made with a spoon and pins. The wings are made with paper, cardboard and transparent sheet. Now, let us understand what satellite communication is. Now, it's time to understand what satellite communication is. A communication satellite is an artificial satellite that relays and amplifies radio telecommunication signals via transponder. Communication satellites are used for televisions, telephones, radio, internet and military applications. There are about 2000 communication satellites in the Earth's orbit, both private and government organizations. At this age, technology is a big weapon and we cannot live without satellite communications. A very good afternoon respected ma'am, teachers and all my dear friends. I am Jandri Singh from grade 50 from NL Narnia High School and today my Nirmal project is a working model of volcano eruption. Let me tell you that what is volcano. A volcano is a rupture in the crust of a planetary object such as the earth. This can also cause fluids. Now let me show you the working of this. This is the volcano eruption. Thank you. A very good afternoon, respected ma'am, teachers, and all my dear friends. I'm my girl from class 50, and today I will show you a homemade mini water dispenser. The materials used to make it are water bottle, cardboard, and straw. So let's start. Mini water dispenser work by having a 5 gallon water bottle upside down on the top of the machine. This allows the gravity and vacuum pressure to do its job while filling the glass, and someone presses the water spy got and when this happens air is allowed into the bottle so water can escape into our glass or bottle. Now I will tell you the benefits of water dispenser. Some benefits of water dispenser are it tastes better than normal, it saves our space, it, it is good for our health. Now I will show you how it works practically. We, we open the cap of the bottle and water falls down because of the because of the vacuum pressure and air and now the water is ready to drink i am tasting it mm, it's better than normal thank you good morning principal teacher and my dear friends i am arkam from class 50 and my project for nirman is hydraulic brake which is based on Pascal's law. This law states that pressure applied on any body of fluid causes a force which gets transmitted to equal directions. I have used cardboards, pipes and syringes to make this project. This is a model of a bridge with four syringes. A, B, C and D. When we, apl when we apply pressure, Pressure on A and C, the force gets transmitted to the connected, connected syringes which makes the bridge open. And when we pull back the syringes, it makes the bridge close.
थैंक यू हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मियांशिका फ्रॉम फिफ्थ ई आई हैव मेड अ मॉडल ऑफ अ इरप्टिंग वॉल कैनो एंड द डिफरेंट रॉक्स फॉर्म फ्रॉम in the crust of a planetary object like earth that allows hot lava volcanic ash and gases to escape from a magma chamber below the surface earth's volcano occurs because its crust is bro broken into 17 major rigid tectonic plates that float on a hotter and softer layer in its mantle cinder cone volcanoes are the most common type of volcano by making this model we can get an idea of actually how it looks like how the eruption within it takes place and what are the different structures of the different rocks formed from volcano erupts because of the great pressure below the lithosphere volcano when active the explosion takes place and the hot lava escapes out of the earth's surface now you can see 
the mask is rotating. And this is washed. Thank you for seeing my video. Good evening, ma'am, teachers, and my dear friends. My name is Aditi Gupta, and I am the student of class 50. Today, my topic is human respiratory system. Human respiratory system is very important system in our body because if we will not breathe, then how the other organs will work. Breathing is very important as we inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. The functions of the respiratory system are nose, larynx, trachea, bronchi and lungs. As we can breathe through our mouth also but it is better to breathe with our nose because, no, because nose has thin tiny hairs which stop the dust particles from going inside to the body. Then, then the air goes inside the larynx. Then in tacria, tacria also have some small tiny hairs which stop the tiny dust particles from going in our lungs. Then the oxygen go inside the bronchi. Bronchi has small branches called bronchi. The oxygen go inside the bronchi. The bronchi has small roots called olivids. Olivids. Olivids has small blood vessels called olivers, which take oxygen inside and give out carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide go outside from our nose. To breathe fresh air, we should plant more and more green around our environment. I have a model of respiratory system. This is an example of respiratory system. When I press this button, the air go inside this balloon. When I release the water, the air comes again inside the bottle. This is carbon. And when I press the bottle, the oxygen go inside and when I release it, the carbon gets inside of the balloon. So, this was the example of respiratory system. Thank you and we should always plant more and more trees around our environment. Everyone, my name is Adhika from grade 50. This is my model on organic farming. Organic farming is a process where we do not use synthetic fertilizer. Here there is cattle farm. Here there is cattle waste which is collected and sent it to biogas plant. In the biogas plant, microorganism feeds on carbohydrates and protein. It produces methane gas. It is piled and sent it to house and factories for using it like a fuel. Now, after this process, or organic waste is used as manure. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Angelina Kaushik and I am a student of class 5E. I'm in Dhamya High School. Today I'm going to talk about the windmills. Wind power or wind energy is used wind to generate electricity. Wind power is a popular, sustainable and renewable source of power that ha has much smaller or impact environment uh, that burning of fossil fuel. Did you know that the first windmill was made in 1887 in Scotland? Wind, wind farms can be of two types, onshore and offshore. Uh, onshore windmills are located on land and are not expensive to construct. 
but the wind power is less due to less wind. Offshore windmills are expensive to construct, but the wind power is more due to due to more wind. Thank you. Hello friends, how are you today? Today let's talk about day and night. What do you like more, day or night? I like the day more because I can have fun with my friends. I can see the nature, the colors and most importantly, I can see things clearly. I always wonder why do the sun disappears at night? Do you also think about that? When we see the sun shining in the sky, it is day and when we don't, it is night. We see the sun seems to move across the sky starting in the east in the morning and then moves towards the west as the day ends. Hmm, Why did, how did this happen? Actually, the sun seems to across seems to across the sky because the earth rotates on its own axis axis is an imaginary line passing through the north pole the center of the earth to the south it is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees the movement of the earth on its own axis which causes day and night it takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. Now let's assume why we have day and night. Let us assume that this globe is our earth and this lamp is the sun. If we look clear, look closer that half part of the earth which is facing the sun is the day and the other part which is dark is the night. The earth rotates on its axis and so day changes into night and night changes into day. For example, if there is day in India, then there is night in the United States. Similarly, if there is day in the United States, then there is night in the India. Why did this happen? This happens because India and the United States are situated at opposite sides of the earth. Now it's time for fun facts on day and night. The earth is always spinning and it takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. Daytime is from the time sun rises until the sun sets. Night time is from the sun's head until the sun rises. Because the earth rotates counterclockwise, hence it appears that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Thank you. Good morning everybody, my name is Mudrat Swan. My topic is solar power irrigation. Solar power irrigation uses the sun's energy to power a pump and supplies water to help them grow. To grow the highest quality of crops in the most efficient way, they must be provided with right amount of water at right time. Too little or too much water will lead to crops with laying soil erosion and poor uptake of nutrition of plants. Solar power irrigation finds application in downwater supply livestock water. And irrigation is an application of solar powered water pumping system used in paddy fields, gardens, 
for watering vegetables, plants, etc. How do solar panel work? Solar when photons hit the solar cell, they knock electrons and make atoms to lose from electrons. If the conductor are attached to the positive and negative side of cells, they it forms an electrical circuit. When electrons flow through such a circuit, they generate electricity. When multiple cells make up a solar panel and multiple panels can be wired up to form a solar array. More panels you deploy, the more power you can uh, accept to be generated. This solar uh, this solar power system has some advantages and disadvantages too. Some advantages are No bills to be paid No fuels required It is environment friendly Irrigation is possible in remote areas Durable requiring minimal maintenance Some di uh, disadvantages are Initial cost is high can cl uh, make clogs clogging in water if what water is not filtered correctly. Problem in moisture distribution and salinity problems can also be faced. Thank you. Hello, my name is Joanna Lobo and I am from class 5E. My topic for the digital Nirman exhibition is robotics. Robots are machines which help us to do work faster and effectively. Robots have replaced humans in performing repetitive and dangerous tasks. Robots are merely machines which are programmed by a computer. Artificial intelligence and machine learning will make them more human-like. The model displayed here is of a robotic ice cream bar, which is completely manned by a robot. Without any human intervention, a customer needs to enter his order using a kiosk and make the payment with his credit or debit card. On successful order placement, the machine would generate a receipt with a token number and a barcode. The robot will prepare the ice cream and the toppings as per the order selected by the customer, and the ice cream is ready. The robot then displays the token number of the customer on the screen. The customer has to scan the barcode and the glass door opens. And he can pick up the ice cream and enjoy it. Nishkam, a Melbourne based company, has already created such a robotic ice cream bar. And it is operational at the Federation Square in Melbourne. Thank you. Hello everybody. My name is Nishpaya Chitamoya. Vehicle GSLV Mark 3D1. The geosynchronized satellite launch vehicle Mark 3 is also known as GSLV Mark 3. It is also referred as LVMS Launch Vehicle Mark 3, which is developed by ISRO. It is a three stage medium lift launch vehicle with two solid straps on motor. The GSLV Mark 3 D1 contains five important parts. Number one, payload to geosynchronize transfer orbit. It is located over here. It, it is 4000 kgs heavy. Next is payload to low earth orbit. It is located right over here. It weighs 8,000 kgs. Next, we have four stage L110 liquid stage. It is located right over here. It uh, contains a fuel of 110 tons of UDMH plus N204. Next, we have cryogenic upper stage C25. It is located over here. It has a fuel of 28 tons. Next we have solid rocket boosters. It is, it is two in number and are located right over here. GSLV Mark 3 uses two S200 solid rocket boosters. 
sisters to provide the huge amount of trust required for lift off. The S200 was developed at Vikram Sarabhai Center. Primarily designed to launch communication satellites into geostationary orbit, it is also identified as launch vehicle Gaganyaan for crewed mission under the Indian Human Space Flight Program and dedicated science mission like Chandrayaan 2. Thank you. Bladder. 
urinary bladder's function is to store urine, to store urine until it is full. And last is urethra. The function of urethra is to remove the urine from the urinary bladder when it is full. And one important thing is when any of these organs gets damaged, we can lead to some health problems like kidney failure, kidney stone or urinary tract infection. And one quick tip to keep your excretory system healthy is drink plenty of water and, or eat to 7 glasses of water a day. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good afternoon, ma'am, teachers and all my dear friends. I am Adi Ajara from grade 15. Today I am going to talk about wind turbine or wind mill. Wind turbine is a <coughs> wind turbine converts kinetic energy into electricity. When wind turbine have blades which turn in which turn in the wind, the gearbox converts the slow ro rotation of the blade into high speed motion which uh, which converts wind energy into electricity wind energy refers wind energy refers to capturing the energy of moving air wind and capture and converting it into electricity wind 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 energy uh, is also includes using the wind directly to power machines without using any electricity. Uh, wind energy is a type of a, is type of a renewable energy. Renewable energy is a source of energy which which never runs out. So solar energy, wind energy, geothermal energy, biomass energy and hydropower energy are all types of energy renewable energy. Thank you. <laughs>
controls the whole electricity and then sends it to the pump. Now pump has the electricity. Now it takes the water from the ground level and sends it to the overhead tank. Now overhead tank fills or the waters the whole field. So the benefits of solar power irrigation system are it is environmental friendly and does not emit any biogas. So next is solar power is free. So utility bill drops significantly. Solar power is perfect alternative electricity. Uh, so the farmers can manage this system as per their convenience. Solar power ir uh, irrigation system or the solar power energy is or efficient because 100% of energy generated is renewable. Thank you. My name is Neetaraya. We all need water is very essential for our ecosystem. But in this world, we are facing water scarcity due to various reasons. Millions of liters of water is wasted due to lack of conservation. Water, there are different methods of water harvesting. I am going to explain you about rainwater harvesting. Rainwater harvesting is a simple process used to conserve water by collecting, storing, conveying and purifying it for later use. There are different types of rainwater harvesting. In this model we see rooftop rainwater harvesting. Here on, water, here on rooftop rainwater gets collected and goes to filtration tank and then it transferred to storage tank for later use, such as irrigation, etc. Thank you. Guys, I am Rudhwata Tatre Gokarna from 5th day roll number 32. I am going to show you artificial erupting volcano today. Now I am going to put some baking soda into the volcano. Now I am going to put some vinegar to erupt it. Oh my god. It is it has erupt when so when the vinegar and the baking soda mix together it yes. it, it erupts. Thank you. Hello, myself Tiana from 50. And Tanvi from 5th E. Welcome to our science project Nirman 2020. So we are going to show you a working model on kidneys today. So here are some materials we use to make our project. Kidneys are two reddish brown bean shaped organs. They are the size of a fish located near the vertebral column. They receive blood from the renal arteries. They are attached to the ureter which carries urine to the bladder. They remove waste from our body and also remove excess fluids. They work on the principles of filtration. So now we will be showing you a live demo of kidney and its functions. So this is our first live demonstration. Today we will be showing you how kidney filters the blood. So I will pass this red water through these pipes. It goes through the kidney and gets filtered and the excess water and waste products also get filtered. The water that reaches the bladder is nothing but the urine and is yellow in color. show you the second demonstration so we are going to show you how the kidneys and the filtration process works so we add the 
So now we pass this red color liquid and it passes through the pipes and goes to the kidneys where filtration happens. So the extra water from the blood gets absorbed and goes into the beaker and the liquid is nothing but the urine. So as you can see when we add the water it goes down the pipe and it, it passes the unwanted waste and blood. You were watching our Nirman video. My name is Lakshananda from the class 5th day. Today I am going to show you my project Hydraulic Brakes. Hydraulic brake is an arrangement of braking mechanism which uses brake fluid. It transfers energy to stop an object normally rotating axle. How it works? I will start it. When triggered, they transfer pressure through the use of fluid and its pressure triggers the braking mechanism. Benefits of hydraulic brakes Hydraulic disc brakes dispatch the truly and distribute heat more eventually than traditional brakes, which means that hydraulic brakes are more likely to last longer. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Vasharma. I am going to tell about the solar panel. The solar panel give, gets energy from sun. Now you will think what is solar panel. Solar panel is a substance that gives us electricity with the help of natural source. The, that natural source is sun. Here you can see there is the sun and the solar panel. The sun rays is coming to the solar panel and the solar panel is charging to giving electricity to house, giving power to car and charging the batteries. Solar panel are usually are usually found in Rajasthan, Mumbai, Punjab, Amritsar etc because they these places get many sunlight and they get a good source of electricity here you can see that the house car and battery are charging 
and started working. The this the solar panel and the sun. Uh, the solar panel and the. Hello, respected teachers and all my dear friends. My name is Rede Choda from class fifth E. And my roll number is 27. I have made this project of windmill which generate electricity. The material used to make this project are cardboard, fabricol, motor, LED belt, cable. This was invented by Mr. Daniel Holliday in 1854. Windmills were earlier used for pumping water or grinding grains. But now these machines are used to convert wind energy into electricity. Wind rotates the blades of a turbine around a router and with the spin electricity is generated. Engineers call it wind turbine. Now I will show you how it works. and the motor besides it generate the wind energy into electricity as you can see i hope you like this video thank you Exerter syringe. 
the water pushes through the holes to the other syringe which is connected to crane arm it pushes the pump of other syringe in upward direction which lifts lifts the crane arm using this technology even with a little force heavy object can be lifted thank you hello everyone welcome to the neeman exhibition here i am savitrishti from 50 presenting this model on global warming based on science and technology global warming is increase in the earth's average atmospheric temperature that cause corresponding changes in the climate and may destroy our mother land earth you can see through my model there is greenery everywhere that will help us to give oxygen and absorb the carbon dioxide because of that oxygen level is high and the carbon dioxide level is low but cutting down of trees and constructions of buildings are leading deforestation because of that the animals are dying smoke from factories and smoke from vehicles are leading air pollution because of that the carbon dioxide and methane level is high and oxygen level is low waste from factories are polluting the water and after drinking the polluted water animals are dying so we should take to take steps to reduce the global warming to live in a beautiful land and for existence of the living beings on the earth thank you school class 50 and today i have made nirman science project so here so let's start with the working of the lift here i have the on off button here i have the motor here i have the cell and here i have the lift so now let's describe the lift the purpose of the lift is to take the passenger up and down to different floors The lift has the advantage that it moves faster and we can relax in it. There are also different features in the lift like fan and light. Lift is also preferred mostly in the world. You can use lift anytime and anywhere. Lift takes you to your destination in seconds. There is also an emergency button in the lift which is used when the lift is stuck. In some bigger lifts there are also lift are made of 16 to 32 floors thank you